Hey guys, it's Logan again. Uh, I want to make a video about release and reloads. Um, there's going to be two videos, and you may call them offhand or something. Release and reloads offhand. That's one of the things, that, oh, things I've never heard them called. Um, they're what I would consider an advanced technique, um, but I've gotten uh, some people telling me that they'd like to see some videos about it. Um, they're they're definitely what you would call like the new age style of playing symbols. You have the old school which is hand is always in the strap, in the Garfield grip, always right there. And you get your cool flips, you know, whatever. Um, the wrists and loads are going to be the stuff where you go out. Um, a lot of this is um, very, um, uh, a lot of people um, make the correlation with this with like Mystique, MCM, or Rhythm X, or just a lot of groups who have a, you know, pretty advanced symbol line who are doing some really great things. and. I consider them advanced, not because they're so much difficult, but because they are extremely hard to get to look um, uniform across the line. Um, and this video is going to be about releases. Not reloads, only releases. Releases from here, from here, and up here. So we got set, kind of like the horizontal, uh, and then the vert. Um, reloads is a separate video that I'm going to make after this, a separate video. So what's happening when you do a release? Um, it's hard to explain. It's hard. It's 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 harder to find it in a video and try to figure out what they're doing. Um, have it explained. They have it explained to you by someone else. is a lot easier than watching a lot of videos, which I'm sure a lot of you have done. You know, watching some MCM09 back and forth, back and forth, and you can't find out what they're doing because it's just so fast. But I'm gonna break it down. So we're in our grip. Um, what we're trying to do is this. That's what's gonna happen. As you can see, my hand is on the strap. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take this thumb, and I'm going to get that out of the way. Out of the way. That's the biggest thing I can tell you about doing release and reloads. Get the thumb out of the way. You don't, you're going to, you can, I don't know if you can break your thumb, but you can wish your thumb was broken. That's how bad it's going to hurt. Okay, get it out of the way. So this looks really bad right now, doing this, but this is the step that we're going to take. Do this, and now what we're going to do is we're going to sling it. From your perspective, I'm going to sling it to my right, like that, with the momentum of my hand. Real big motion. Do it again. See how I did that? Big motion. Okay. So we're back in. Get the thumb out of the way. Big motion. And we're going to catch it like, you know, we're serving a plate of Chinese food, serving up some pizza, something, Chinese platter. So let's do it again. One more time. Thumb out of the way. Go for it. Wonderful. That's a release. There you go. That's all you got to know. Okay. So now, let's do that again, but let's, let's not make it so uh, um, two steps. Let's not make it two steps. Let's make it, let's make, let's make it one step. And what we're going to do that is, instead of going here and then out, let's go start to move, but then start to move the thumb at the same time. Okay. Now, this is the step that's going to take you the longest, is figure out how am I going to move my thumb while I'm moving at the same time. Um, I don't really have any great answers for you when it comes to that, um, but just keep working at it. You're going to hit your thumb a couple times. You're going to get, you're going to go with your thumb a couple times, and that's going to hurt. But just keep working at it. Um, one thing I used to do when I started doing it, when I when I used to play 20s, I play 19s now, is I would kickstart it with my with my arm, and that's all right, I guess. But it's a lot of extra motion. Um, you can, you can almost kind of hear it, too. But what that does is that kicks it out and gives me time to move my thumb out of the way. Gives me time to get my thumb out of the way. I don't recommend that once you figure out how to move this. Because then you can just eliminate this extra motion right here, and you're going to do it all from the hand. Okay. I'm sorry this isn't the best explanation I can give. I mean, it is. I'm just sorry that it's not more helpful. It's just... It's the nature of this implement, this move. Okay, so we've done that. Um, what you'll see a lot of groups do is they'll do a release catch, which is called a bishop. You want to do a bishop? You go. There you go. That's a bishop. Instead of catching right here, instead of catching right here, I'm actually going 90 degrees less and catching up here. That's called a bishop. MCM04. First people who ever did it. 
they were the first people to really start experimenting with uh, release and reloads anyways, um, especially in the indoor activity. So, you go right here, get your bishop, or you just get your standard release. Okay? Now, the same is going to kind of go for when you're down here at set. Um, there's two, you can make, make the two-step process again. You can go here, here, release. So if I was going to you know, release on one, I go one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. That fourth count is the movement of the symbol. Now, if I'm going to go faster, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. And you can see that I'm bypassing this middle step. And I'm just going from here. And I kind of do the idea of a flip. I'm about to do a flip, but I go here, thumb comes out, and I'm using the momentum of that semi-flip to get this symbol to go out. So don't, don't actually make the real rotation, but as you're about to, that's when you get the thumb out. Thumbs out, right there. Let me see. Going there. That's when it gets out. Real slow. Thumbs out. Now I'm good to go. So I'm going to do a one, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. I, uh, when I taught, when I did my flip video, I said, if I'm going to be up on one, I'm going to move on one. One, two, three, four, one. You can't say the same for releases, because there is more time that is needed to make the, to make the move, to make the jump. But you need to be as close to one as possible. One, two, three, four, one. That, I think that's what makes it hard to clean release and reloads, is everybody has a different starting point. Everyone ends at the same time, ideally, but starting points are different for everybody because they have a different way of going about getting their hand out and at what speed are they flipping around, are they making this uh, rotation. Because that's where I make up all my time. If I'm slow, I'm going to kick ass on the foot part and that's where I'm going to make up all my time. One, two, three, four, one. Okay? So, that's from down here and that's right here. Uh, this next one is by far the toughest one, I think, is releasing from vert. Because if you move your thumb out of the way, the symbol is just going to hang there. So you have to work faster than gravity. And I'll show you what that looks like. You can hear there's more sound. Um, that kind of just comes with the territory. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually going a bit of a push up. I'm pushing up just a bit, not much just enough to throw the symbol up, to get my thumb out, and then I'm coming around right here. Coming on the bottom to get that rotation. So, when I go, I throw it up, my, symbol, my hand comes out of the symbol, it's coming over here, and there I am. If I can do this slow, I'll do it. Oh, sorry, I'm keeping up the camera. Hopefully that makes some sense. You can kind of see that little prep, prep I have. Okay. Now this is great if you, you know, if you have two and you want to send a ripple down the line, or you can make it right left, which is a little tougher. Uh, and I'll again I'll talk about reloads in the next video, but. That is by far the toughest one. Now you can do what I like to call like, kind of like the inverted release, um, which is you're here, and instead of going down this way, you go up. And that's going to look like, it, it's, actually, it's actually meant to be a release and reload at the same time, which would look like, um, I'll talk about that in a sec. But, <clears throat> Um, that's what I got for releases. That's about the three places that you're going to be releasing. You're not really going to release from right here. Uh, you can. It's just awkward. Um, mainly from right here at your horizontal, your set, and your vert. Um, if you have any questions or you want to see something else, please tell me. I mean, I'm more than happy to do this. I mean, I love symbols, so I'll, of course I'll do it. Um, that's what I got for releases. Um, we got the bishop. So if you think of anything else, tell me, and I hope these videos are helpful. Um, you just tell me. Thanks, guys.